Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about restriction endonuclease enzyme. So normally this restriction endonuclease enzyme belongs to the class of endonuclease group. And it is an enzyme that cleaves the double stranded DNA into the fragments at specific recognition sites. And those specific recognition sites are called as restriction sites. So this restriction enzyme will come near to the restriction sites of the DNA and starts cleaving the DNA. So how the mechanism of this restriction endonuclease will be done on this DNA let us see enough. And before entering into the mechanism, you have to know the basic introduction of this restriction endonuclease enzyme. And the restriction endonuclease enzyme is present in bacteria as well as the archaebacteria class. And one of the major function which is mainly performed by this restriction endonuclease enzyme is that it provides defense mechanism against entry of virus. So when harmful virus will, enter, will, will get entered into the environment of the bacteria, then it can provide mechanism, defense mechanism against to do that virus where it can protect by itself. Which one? The bacteria. The bacteria can protect by itself from the virus. So how that mechanism will be done? Let us see at the end of the video. So now let us discuss about this restriction endonuclease mechanism. So I have said you that normally these restriction sites are the sites where the restriction enzymes will start cleaving the uh, you know bacterial DNA. Right? So what are these restriction sites? Normally these restriction sites consist of palindromic sequences. So palindromic sequences are nothing but for example if you see this is a double stranded DNA and these are the nucleotide sequences G A A T T C. So these are the nucleotide sequence which you can see from 5 prime to 2, 3 prime direction right. And even if you see in the reverse I mean in the second strand also from the 5 prime to 3 prime direction the sequence will be same right but it will be opposite to it but the sequence will be same like G A A T T C. So why it will be same because to make it complementary. And these opposite sequences which are same are called as palindromic sequences. When you read it from 5 prime to 3 prime direction and again here also 5 prime to 3 prime direction the sequence will be same which are complementary to each other and those sequences are called as palindromic sequences. So there will be many type of restriction endonuclease enzymes among them some of the most important restriction endonuclease enzymes for our study are E. coli. BAM HI, HINDI 3, HINDU 2, BAL I and SMA I. So these are the some of the most important restriction and nucleus enzymes which you have to know. So let us discuss about E. coli, how the E. coli will perform its function on this double standard DNA. Right? So enough, let us say this is a double standard DNA with a proper sequence. So this is a sequence which is called as a restriction site. So how you can determine this as a restriction site which I have said you because uh, there is a presence of palindromic sequence. So what is mean by palindromic sequence I have said you this is a sequence where if you read from 5 prime to 3 prime direction for example G A A T T C is a sequence which you have to read from 5 prime to 3 prime direction and again the similar if you see in the second strand again if you read from 5 prime to 3 prime direction the nucleotide sequence should be same when compared to this G A A T T C again here also G A A T T C right so both of them are similar once you read from 5 prime to 3 prime direction and those sequences are called as palindromic sequences I have said you. And once there is a presence of palindromic sequence, you can call the site as a restriction site. And once there is a presence of the restriction site, then the restriction endonuclease enzyme can perform its function. And now E. coli is an enzyme which is called as a restriction endonuclease enzyme will perform its function on this restriction site. Where it produces sticky ends. This is very much important to remember. It produces the sticky ends. How? Let us see enough. So this is E. coli enzyme which performs its function. I mean it starts cleaving between this uh, G nucleotide as well as A nucleotide, guanine and adenosine nucleotide. And again, in the second strand, another E. coli enzyme will start it performs and performs the cleavage. Here, here again, the between A and G, the cleavage will be done. So, as the cleavage will be done, then the totally there will be a gap which will be erased between guanine as well as the adenosine nucleotide. I mean, adenine nucleotide. So here also between adenine and guanine, there will be a gap which will be present. Right, because the cleavage has been done by the restriction endonuclease enzyme, or we can also call it as the E. coli enzyme. And once the gap has been developed, then the gap will be extended out in such a way that there will be a production of the sticky ends. Sticky ends, sorry. Right. So these are the sticky ends. These both are called as sticky ends, and these sticky ends are complementary with each other. And once the DNA ligase enzyme 
will perform its function or, or, I mean once the DNA ligase enzyme will be applied to this double stranded DNA which has been separated then what happens is that the sticky ends will get attached with each other because the DNA ligase what is the main function of the DNA ligase it mainly helps in the attachment of the two DNA strands so again there is a big mechanism of the DNA ligase I am going to upload video of this DNA ligase in my future videos so in this way the sticky ends will be developed in such a way that the two strands I mean it will it will get separated into two strands the single strand will get separated into two strands this is the main function of the restriction endonuclease enzyme right and what is the main function of this restriction endonuclease and where it is performed it is performed in rdna technology right so i have explained a brief i have i have provided a brief video on this rdna technology and brief explanation has been given the link will be given in the description box so if you understand this rdna technology then you can understand why this restriction and the nucleus enzyme i mean why this dna will get cut right so i have explained you about e cori right so now let us take another example of BAM HI. Coming to the second type of restriction endonuclease enzyme, which is called as BAM HI, this will also produce the sticky ends. So how? In the same manner, the this is a nucleotide sequence, which is palindromic sequence. I have said to you once there is a presence of the palindromic sequence, you can call this as a restriction site, right? And now there is a presence of the restriction site, so the BAM HI will perform its function on this restriction site, where it produces the sticky ends again. And once you again apply the DNA ligase uh, to this double stranded DNA which has been separated, then both of the sticky ends will come together and it will get attached with each other. So again the BM, BAM HI will also perform the same function where the sticky ends will get produced. And now coming to the third one, Hindu 2. Let us take the example of the Hindu 2. Here the sticky ends will not be produced, the blunt ends will be produced. So what is meant by this blunt ends? See again this is a palindromic sequence which is also called as a restriction site. And now once you apply the Hindi 3 enzyme, then what happens is that it doesn't perform any, uh, you know, any route for, to get separated. It straightly, it gets, uh, it get developed straightly. The, you know, the blunt ends will get developed straightly where uh, the cleavage will be done in a straight manner and there will be no more designs which will be formed. There will be a straight end which will be formed and these both ends which has been separated are called as blunt ends. So these both ends which have been separated are called as blunt ends, right? The straight cleavage will be done by the Hindi 3 enzyme. This is the only one thing which you have to remember by this in this Hindi 3, right? And these are the blunt ends which will be formed after the cleavage. And now the sticky ends or as the blunt ends can be ligated or else can be attached by the DNA ligase enzyme which I have said you. So once the DNA ligase enzyme will be applied to these blunt ends, then these blunt ends will come together and will get attached with each other by the enzyme called as DNA ligase, right? And now I have said you that this restriction endonuclease enzyme will provide defense mechanism against the entry of virus I have said you, right? So now let us see how it provides the defense mechanism against the entry of virus. So restriction endonuclease 1, restriction endonuclease 2, restriction endonuclease 3, these are the type of restriction endonuclease which are present in the bacteria. For example, let's say here we are going to take about the example of E. coli bacteria and we are going to take example of virus as a bacteriophage. We know that the bacteriophage also consists of genetic material and the genetic material is nothing but the DNA. And once this bacteriophage will start interacting towards the E. coli bacteria, then what happens? This genetic material of the bacteriophage will enter into the, uh, you know, will enter into the cytoplasm of the bacteria. Let's say E. coli bacteria. That's nothing but if you remember the lytic cycle, I have explained about the lytic cycle. You can remember about the lytic cycle when the bacteriophage will enter into the, I mean, it starts interacting towards the E. coli bacteria, where the genetic material will be protruded into the cytoplasm of the E. coli bacteria. I have said you right. So now once the genetic material or as once the DNA of the bacteriophage will enter into the cytoplasm of the E, you know, of the E. coli, then what happens? Then this restriction under nucleus enzymes will perform its function where the cleavage of that DNA will be happen. And this DNA will be considered as a foreign DNA because this is a foreign virus which is entered from the external environment. And the cleavage of that restriction under nucleus enzymes will be done. Uh, we, uh, sorry, the cleavage of this DNA will be done by this restriction under nucleus where it will uh, where it will form the fragments, the DNA fragments, and those DNA fragments will be unfunctional. Unfunctional means it doesn't perform its function, and once it doesn't perform its function, then it doesn't show any adverse effects of this virus towards this bacteria. So the, in this way, the bacteria can protect itself. Where it can protect itself, I mean, it starts the defense mechanism in this way. 
so this is about the restriction under nucleus enzyme and if you like my explanation just do like and subscribe my channel and if you have any doubts regarding this topic you can comment in the comment box i am going to clarify your doubts immediately thank you